So there are certainly a lot of exciting updates this year. I think that a particular abstract of interest is the Alpine Lake Breaking Abstract, as well as the uh, Triangle Abstract in Mantle Cell Lymphoma. In some of the other CLL areas, we've had some updates of the abrutinib venetoplax combination, now with much more mature follow-up, so much more granular data than we've had before. The pertabrutinib is a very exciting novel BTK inhibitor, which is also having a significant update at this meeting. The Alpine study in particular is a head-to-head -head comparison of xanabrutinib, which is a next-generation BTK inhibitor, compared to abrutinib in relapsed refractory CLL patients. And it showed a significant progression-free survival benefit in addition to improvement in overall response rate for xanabrutinib. This is the first time there's been a progression-free survival benefit in a head-to-head -head comparison of BTK inhibitors, so that's quite exciting. The Alpine study is certainly a practice changing since it demonstrates that the second generation inhibitor is both more effective and safer than the first generation inhibitor. And so certainly in relapse refractory CLL patients that would make xanabrutinib a drug of choice. Oh, it's just great to be in person at meetings. You run into people, remember collaborations that dropped out pre-pandemic, reinvigorate your research. And hearing about a presentation makes it stick better sometimes than actually reading it. And so the opportunity to do that at these in-person meetings is really remarkable. So I hope that we will move toward more multi-agent, time-limited therapy, so that patients are on therapy for a short time, get very deep remission, stop, or then observe for an extended time, and then get retreated. That way there'll be less cost, less toxicity. Patients really benefit from stopping therapy psychologically. It's really good for them. And I also hope that we'll have a little bit better understanding of which type of combination therapy is better based on which biologic factors in the CLL. We're starting to see some of that data emerge now. Looking forward to SOHO next September. Hope everyone will join us.